Hello everybody, this is definitely something new that y'all are seeing. Me and a couple familiar faces came up with a new idea. What we have here is the set of the brand new Soccer's Minecraft Survivor After Show. Now, as the host of Soccer's Minecraft Survivor, I figured that it would be too much for me to host an after show which will contain live interviews and questioning, some fun segments. So why have all the fun hosting? Well, I can take a step back and give the reins to two amazing co-hosts. First, I want to introduce our first co-host. He is an avid fan of Soccer's Minecraft Survivor. He's been around since the beginning, and he is so excited to be given a platform to spread his love for Minecraft Survivor and talk to not only other fans of the show, but past and present players. Introducing, as one of your co-hosts for the After Show, GSA member. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sager. Thanks for introducing me. I'm very excited to be part of this, uh, uh, this brand new opportunity. That was the After Show with my beautiful co-host. We'll be introduced shortly. Now, I'm hashtag ready. I'm hashtag ready, and I'm locked in. Thank you, GSA. We're excited to have you. However, let's introduce our second co-host of the After Show. This man is not an avid fan, but instead an alumni of this series. You've seen him in season one. He's your pre-merge villain. He brings the drama, he brings the theatrics, and he's exactly what we need for the After Show. It is none other than JJ Mutt. Thanks for having me, Soccer. This project is going to be the face of Minecraft Survivor. We have planned so much for this, and you are going to see a new era of Soccer Minecraft Survivor right here. Well, introducing our first guest, someone who I actually know outside of this, and I'd say I'm decent friends with, the first person eliminated of Minecraft Survivor Season 2, Saints vs. Sinners, Marine. Yep, Hello, yep, everyone. Yep. It's me, Marine. I'm back. I have a lot to say today, and so I'm pretty excited. Woohoo! Yep, let's go. And we are so glad to have you here. Personally, like me watching, like I was just in awe of like the theatrics on your tribe. Like the audacity for them to vote out you, first of all, people. Like coming into the season, what like, did you think you'd be first to at all? Um, you know, I didn't really have high, like high hopes. I had a feeling I was probably gonna get pre-jury, not first boot though, you know, that was pretty disappointing. But as I said, you know, in my um, cast reveal and in the season two, I believe, I've never played a Minecraft survivor before in my life. You know, I just got invited and I'm like, you know, sure, why not, I'll play. So it's not really that big of a shocker to me cause I don't have any experience, so. I mean, yeah, like in my first season two, I was also a young kid and they just jumped after me. First chance they got. So I, I get that. GSA, what was, yeah. what was your thoughts when you saw the episode and what, like, what went down? I was, I was very sad to see Marine get eliminated. I had very high hopes for them. I thought they'd at least survive one tribal council, but unfortunately they did not. But Marine, I have a question for you. When you got the invite, were you excited to play or like, what was the thought process when you got the invite to play this season? What did you, what did you expect? Honestly, I was honestly just kind of confused because I had no idea what it actually was. And so I'm just like, you know, sure, why not? I'll try something new for once in my life. That's great to hear. Did you, did you have fun at least? I did for like the hour I was there. Yes. Well, let's let's go into your game a little bit. So, you know, coming in with with red saying you know red said a comment at the uh i have the quote exactly i have the yeah, receipt the exact quote it's kind of nice not having any young kids in the tribe now seeing as some people might say you're a kid compared to the people on that tribe what did that comment make you feel like in the moment i i've been friends with a lot of people that are older so and you know people might be kind of weirded out by me being younger than everyone else and i think the main thought was that i'm kind of immediately put at a disadvantage when everyone is like in their 20s and i'm you know a child was there anyone like you legitimately had trust with on that job um let's see i really liked kaz i think kaz is probably my favorite person to talk to there and i mean yeah kaz was the only person who did not vote you 
he was the only other person with you. Besides, was there anyone like you despised in the tribe then? Oh, there are two people. The first one is Weiss. I despise Weiss. Weiss should have gone home instead of me, and I stand by that because in the challenge, we were like halfway done like with the bridge, and he messes up the entire challenge, and then we have to start over. And so we would have won if Weiss didn't like mess up the bridge. And, you know, I got blamed for our challenge loss, which is fair. I kind of sucked, but, you know, we could have still won if it weren't for Weiss. So, and then I think the second person is Red, because during the season, like, when we were talking about Tribal and all of that, like, before Tribal, I was talking to Red, and, right? <laughs> like, during when I was speaking, he decides, I'm just gonna leave, and... You know, he leaves me all alone in the dark. It was really sad, and I was honestly just kind of pissed. I mean, rightfully so. Someone doing that to you, like, in the game is wild. So now talking about Louise, they said a quote directly about you. Would you like to hear what they said in the episode? Yeah, what is it? They said, this bitch can die. Um, Duck, I heard, was throwing out my name, so that bitch can die. Um. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that fits, honestly. I feel like... Me or Weiss were probably like the two people that kind of flopped in the comp. And so if it wasn't me going, it probably would have been Weiss, at least from, you know, what I saw. So I guess that's fair enough. Marine, I have a question. No, in the challenge, someone was yelling, duck, the flint, the flint, give me the flint. Duck, I need that. Duck, I need that. Duck, I need this. Wait, what? Duck, I need the flint. What happened? Why were you not giving them the flint? Oh, that was Kimmy, right? So, um, if I recall correctly, everyone was like screaming their heads off during that challenge. I could not hear anything. Like, I was just so confused. Like, what is going on? Why is everyone yelling? So, it took me a minute, but you know, eventually I gave it, but it just wasn't fast enough, unfortunately. You know, obviously being voted at first is tough, but if you had to do anything different, what would it be? Would you change anything or did you have no regrets on this season? You know, I just think I probably should have practiced playing Minecraft. I think before the season started, I hadn't played it for like half a year or something. So I probably should have prepared a little bit more. And, you know, I don't think my social game was that bad. You know, I yapped quite a bit. Okay, I don't okay. I really think I have any regrets other than my horrible challenge performance. Hey, 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 as someone who played two episodes, and didn't win a challenge either. I get it. Challenges are tough. I, I get it. Do you believe if you got another opportunity to come back, would you do? Do you think you'd perform better? Or do you think we'd uh, be seeing you in first boot again? I think now that I sort of know what I'm doing, I probably would do at least a little bit better. Hopefully, just not first boot. I don't think I would get first boot. Maybe pre jury, but we can only hope that I can at least make the merge. When you were there, who did you think was leading your tribe? Like. From, from your short time in the game, the One Tribal Council, who did you think was in the best position? I'm gonna say probably Kimmy, you know, um, cause Kimmy went on the, like the quest or whatever. And then I think everyone really liked Kimmy cause you know, she talked quite a bit, was really social and got along with everyone. So that's probably what I'd have to say. So now talking about this, was there anyone you think was like, in like an idiot for voting you? like? Are we going to see someone in the centers following you immediately after because of this tribal? Honestly, I don't really think so. I don't think I was super close with a lot of people on this tribe. I think I had a lot of opportunities to get to know people, but just the circumstances, I think my challenge performance was so bad. It kind of just make like, it just was the most smart to vote me out just so, you know, they could win more tribe challenges and all of that. Okay. Now there's another question, talking about Kaz actually. Going to the episode, you see he actually found your tribe's idol. And he could have played it on you. He knew you were going home, he knew where the votes lied. He could have played it on you and changed the game from night one. Why? Why didn't he do that? Well, honestly, I can't really blame him like at all. Making such like a big move on the first tribal, it's just not a good look and people are gonna be looking at you for like the rest of the game, it's gonna put a target on your back so early on and that's just not something any player would want. 
Marine, what do you want to say to the many Marine fans out there that are devastated by your departure in this episode? To my dear fans, I'll be back one day. Just you wait, and then I'll win. <laughs> Why was that laugh for? I feel Dude. like you can win. Like, I feel like you have the heart, the passion. If we get you on Minecraft doing some challenges, like, I feel like you can have what it takes to win. Like, don't you agree? Of course. You know, I just gotta, you know, go in the game with more of a plan this time, work on my mistakes, and then, yeah, I probably could win. See, now that's the right attitude right there. That's the winning mentality. Marine, obviously with fans come some haters. So what do you want to say to the Marine haters out there? You know, I think you guys, you're all wrong. One day I'm going to come back. Yeah. And I'm going to show all of you yep. that I'm actually the best player of all time. Yep. So yep. just you wait. Three, let's go. Right there. You have heard it first. Amazing. Be afraid. Now looking towards the reunion, it's going to happen. It happened in season one. Are we going to see you clap back at anyone? Is there someone you're looking to see on that stage and call out right then and there? Ooh, yes. I really do want to call out Red just for leaving me while I was, like, in the middle of saying a sentence. Like, that was just not it. That was disrespectful. Sounds like Red's got to watch his back. Do you have any questions that you, any, like, things you want to say publicly, Maureen? Is there anything you want to get off your chest right now? I have nothing interesting to say, like genuinely. So they're just all irrelevant, like now nah, they just, they got, they, got the, they got the best. Oh, you know what? I, I do have something. Red, yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> yep. And you they are. Well, thank you, Kareem, for coming out. You had a awesome one episode today, but unfortunately, that's all. We hope to see you back in a future season. I'm sure you'd love to play again, and I'm sure you'd do better. Thank you for coming out, taking time out of your day to come to this reunion show, and Good luck in life, man. Good luck in life. Good luck in life. Thank you. You guys, too. And that we have it. Thank you for watching this. And episode two is going to be nothing but better. We're going to be coming back with another castaway and a surprise guest for the next one. So be prepared. Come in with questions, honestly. We want to ask some real questions here. You know, drama's good and all, but it's just one-sided. It's just me. I want to hear what you all have to say. Let's hear your drama. Let's hear some hot takes right here. Thank you all for everyone that watched this. We'll be back with episode two with a special third guest host. Whoever that is, you will find out day of the after show. And yes, we'd love to take some viewer questions. So if anyone has questions that we would like to ask the eliminated castaway where it gets 15, we'd be happy to oblige. Thank you for coming out. And that is your after show.